Hey everybody, what's up? It's Davia. I am going to talk about my skincare. What the heck is going on with me? So, I'm looking at my birthday coming up. I have breakouts here and here. Since it's from the nose down, we all know that it's hormonal. Um, I'm not going to go through the routine of washing my face again. I've taped this three times and I keep hitting a button. So here is what I'm using to wash my face. The Myriad Acne Cleanser. Boom. When well, my face is acting up. Second of all, I'm using the Nia 24 Niacin Powered Rapid Depigmentation Serum. Uh, this has a 5% Pro Niacin patented formula, physician recommended. Fragrance, color, and dye free, allergy tested, non. It doesn't clog your pores. I'm not going to give you all the fancy speak. It's absolutely thin, doesn't have a smell to it. It's phenomenal. I put it everywhere else. Forgot my neck. When you do your body, when you're when you're talking about your skincare, you always need to go one up and one down. So when you're doing your face, you need to make sure that you get behind the ears and the neck down. And my hair is really driving me crazy. Time for a haircut. That's one thing I'm going to do on my birthday. Second thing is I'm going to let it dry. Dry, 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 dry. You always want to let your face dry with the first product before you add the second one. Second product that I have, wherever it went, this bathroom is absolutely a disaster area is my handy dandy two dollar boom elf zip zapper i apply it it looks like a little roller ball in all the areas that are driving me nuts it smells all right it smells kind of like menthol or camphor like kind of chest rubbish works and it's good for them targeted zits um i already went and applied my julep facial moisturizing um sunblock because I need sunblock because I don't need any of my scarring or any more de de um, pigmentation to come back. This stuff has caused me to break out and from what I read this is normal. Anytime you switch products, anytime you test products, redness, um, as long as it doesn't itch, breakouts can happen. Um, you just want to watch it and if it becomes irritating or frustrating, contact your doctor. But this is great. It is absolutely phenomenal. And it's got good stuff in it. Nice and something we should be taking anyways. It is available on Bloom.com. They have um, advanced wrinkle serum, etc. So I'm letting my face dry. I already have the sunblock. I'm going on a motorcycle, so I'm going to make this really quick for you guys. Um, I don't want to mess with my face and the condition it's in right now. I already have sunblock on. Um, I'm going to look for my concealer wherever it ran off to. It ran off on me, I'm sure. Oh, mercy, mercy me. I know it's somewhere. Okay. So I'm just going to do underneath my eyes. And because we all know, obviously, in a lot of my pictures, um, I have really bad dark circles. And what I'm using is I'm using the Olay um, dark circle corrector. And I actually, I don't know, you're not supposed to do this, but I do put it above my eyelids. And I take my clean finger and I tap around to just kind of bat it in. Or to get it to, and I use my ring finger because it's the one with the least tension and least grip. To make sure that I kind of get it all in there. And then because it's I'm naturally this dark. I just use the excess to cover those two little obnoxious bumps that are driving me so crazy. Um, as far as eye makeup, I'm going to use what's left in my Stilla in the Moment palette. I have a little, I have a little actually, pretty much not a whole lot left. These are the colors for the Stilla in the Garden palette and Stilla in the Moment palette, both of which I'll be buying for myself for my birthday. But I'm going to use the color Desire, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right underneath my brow bone and all the way down. I'm just going to keep it really simple today. So that color is Desire, and I'm just putting it all over, especially, like I said, with the dark circles. It's going to draw the attention away from what's going on down here. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a little bit of the spot. The spontaneous it's kind of a shimmery gold you see that and I'm actually just gonna put it kind of like in the crease 
and over my lid. And this is a great daytime look. keeps those eyes nice bright and shiny and then here's a tip for those of you um, when it comes to your concealer you, you know if you want that those bright sparkling eyes and you do struggle with dark circles you're gonna want to use one shade lighter than you normally do and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add a color a bit of whim do you see whim whim is sort of the copperish color and because I have lower set eyelids I'm just gonna go above the lid like so and I know it looks really dark don't panic I promise it's not that dark and then I'm just gonna take my blush brush I'm just gonna blend those together and then if you have like a setting powder or anything that you choose you can do that as well. I'm actually kind of just liking where I'm sitting. It's pretty normal, pretty natural. Um, if you have really dark circles or you want to make your eyes pop, a good advice is to use like a white or a light pencil to line the inner lids of your eye. And that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I need to find it. Everything seems to be escaping me in my house today. So it's all about keeping it simple. It's summertime. There's there's really no reason to get overboard with this. Um, let's just go. That's my white. I have this really neat silver picked out. But I guess I don't know where it went. Uh, so frustrating. These are one of those days as a blogger you want to tuck your head back in bed. I can't seem to find it, even though I'm looking everywhere for it, and you can hear me making noise. Super frustrating. I did one better. No, I didn't. <laughs> Well, anyhow, I thank you guys for being so patient with me today. I seem to have lost my marbles and almost my computer at the same note. Huh. Well, that's super frustrating. Wish that I could find it wherever it ran off to. But that's what happens when you move. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Well, you know what? I found a even better. It's the uh, Essence 201 Kajio Pencil in a light pink. I'm going to go ahead and you see how... As I'm lining underneath that white really pops that color underneath my eyes and it makes the brown stand out a little bit more. It's that simple. So, colors I used was the Stilla in the moment. And I seem to be lost in my own moment, by the way. Stilla in the moment, I used Desire, Spontaneous, and Whim. I'm not going to wear any blush today because I'm going on a bike. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this. I just found it. It's the NYC Color Blushable Cream Stick. This seems to be like all the rage right now. What I like to do is just take three dabs. I have really high cheekbones and I like to run them up here. And it's nice because it's going to draw away from that nasty little ugly pink markup marks on my face and I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip stain
also by NYC. It's the 16 hour lip stain and the color is champagne stain. So there's my quick and easy routine for the day. And I hope you like the look and off I go. See you later. Bye-bye.